You know, it's like a tunnel to a different world or something. <laughs> yeah, you gotta add your shoulders with it. So where did we go today? The Science Center. Elliot loves going to the Science Center because they have this great little exhibit of the Mars rover, which is like his favorite thing. But then we saw on this giant billboard on the way there, they had a new exhibit. All about video games. What? That's amazing! We had to go, of course, we had to go. Yeah. It had a lot of video game stuff, some board games. Like arcade kind of games. Yeah, like, like foosball yeah. and ping pong and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was all video games. So when you first walk in, you kind of walk through these little tunnels that are all like... Um, they have like LED lights. Yeah, they have like LED lights and circuit boards and stuff like that on them. So we started off by checking out some of the arcade cabinets, Street Fighter and Space Invaders and Pac-Man Pac uh, and Galaga. Elliot and I like to play Street Fighter a lot and they actually had a Street Fighter cabinet, so we played that, um, and Elliot beat me, I think, both times. The way that they had that set up, that part of it, they only had like four or five cabinets, but they put these mirrors on the side, so it looked like this endless row. Yeah, it kind of felt like you were actually in an arcade. I wish we had an arcade cabinet. <laughs> that would be cool. They also had this great section that was kind of like right by it, and it had these acrylic display cases of the different systems throughout the years they had them all like broken apart so you could see all the pieces so you could see like the circuit board and like the case and yeah. and they had it actually working what a great way to get kids into this i mean what kid wouldn't want to play all this stuff a lot of kids probably don't yeah. have like a atari or a um, super nintendo they had like these little stations where you could like test your accuracy so like a little target popped up and you had to like move the mouse to it and click on it as quick as you could so I think Elliot's favorite thing was probably the VR section. I'm not even really sure what was in the VR thing. <laughs> Hopefully uh, it was nothing bad. Yeah, so we're gonna cut to our field reporter, <laughs> Elliot, and learn more about what was going on with the VR thing. Hi, this is Elliot. I'm here with a special report from Super Ranker Family News. Uh, there was, I don't know how many baby turtles, but it was baby turtles on the beach. It was like, and then it snowed at night, and yeah, and I saw the whole beach. Thumbs. Back to you, Mommy and Daddy. Thanks for that awesome report, Elliot. So right next to 
The VR section was a giant block soul. Elliot had fun like trying to make different things in there. They had this projector that they put on the ceiling and they project a screen onto the ground and they have different games in there. The one that we played was Hungry Hungry Hippos. Yeah, you like had to stomp and Elliot was like so excited because he was winning. <laughs> And they also had like a little section next to that for uh, St. Louis Game Dev and they had some of the games that developers around the area created. My favorite thing there was they had this little screen and you were supposed to stand on a certain spot on the floor and on the screen they had like a cat and then you got to like make the faces for the cat. <laughs> like it would move when you moved and it would like open its eyes big when you open your eyes big and open your mouth and smile. It was so cute. They had a little setup of a simulation driving game and it had like three monitors. It had like the pedals and the clutch yeah, and the brake. Yes. And a or the steering wheel. Yeah, the wheel. It was funny when Elliot did it because like he couldn't reach the pedals very well. So he just like slashed down. He's like he's like laying down while he was driving. It was pretty funny. Yeah, and he just like crashed in the car all over the place. He loved it. He's like, yeah. Can I drive it under the woods again? Like So I had two favorite things, I think. Two favorites. My first favorite was probably like all the displays they had. They had the one inside where they had the consoles all, all kind of like taken apart and stuff like that. And then outside, they also had kind of like a, um, almost like a timeline where they started with Atari and Sega and Nintendo and kind of moved on to like Super Nintendo and GameCube and stuff like that. And they were all kind of displayed out there. I really liked seeing all that stuff and it was, because it was interesting seeing some of the other kids there because they were looking at the stuff like it's like some foreign object or whatever that what they've never that? seen. And I think it's funny because like Elliot's always like he's just known that those things have existed he kind of just like walked by he yeah. was like awesome um, looks like our house it's kind of nice knowing that other kids are learning about that kind of stuff now and then i think my favorite thing was the um they had mario one set up to play but they had it set up with a giant controller that you like had to step on and use your feet to move and um that was really cool, and we we got past 1-1, uh, but then on 1-2, we started messing up a little bit. It was a little harder, and people were waiting, so I didn't want to like try to beat the whole game or anything like that. But that was a lot of fun. I've never played Mario with my feet before. <laughs> And also, like having Elliot, like he was standing on one button, yeah. and Mandy was, was on another was... one, and then I was doing the arrows and stuff, and it was really cool. It was super hard though. Like, I can barely play Mario just like with a regular controller, but he was like, he could do the whole thing, no problem. Yeah, if there's nobody in line, yeah. we probably could have, like, at least got to the last world or something yeah. like that. That little area, too, where they had that was really cool. They kind of had it, I feel like they had it set up like an 80s, like, living room. Yeah. Um, so, like, while they were playing, I was, like, chilling in this, like, <laughs> wood panel, yeah. like, section. And they had all these little boxes in there, too, that had, like, all little displays of, like, some accessories. So they had, like, a power glove, and they had a Rob the Robot. Yeah, and they had, like, a Zelda cart and, like, a few other little things in there. It was kind of cool seeing like, everybody all playing together, because nowadays I feel like everybody's playing online. And so it's probably kind of a new thing for kids to actually be sitting in the same room playing mm -hmm. with their friends. That's crazy to think about. <laughs> <laughs> so after we finished the new game exhibit, we went around and did like the classic stuff that you do at the Science Center. Top, how many, five things that we like to do at the Science Center? No, we don't need to go yes, on that. No, we're I doing it. I just the dinosaur.
So we had a lot of fun today. Um, it was cool getting to play Mario on a giant controller. It was an awesome display. They had everything set up so visually appealing. And I think that it was awesome to see all these kids getting into the games and like the old games and like learning more about the history of video games. So if you live in the St. Louis area or within driving distance, go check it out. It's really fun. Yeah. That's all I was going to say. Yep. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button, and if you want to see more super adventures, click the subscribe button.